All right, guys, welcome to the channel. We're two days left to get this thing finished up and ready to go, and we're right there. It runs well. A lot of the issues are worked out. We got some spark plug wire leads to crimp on. We got some seatbelts to finalize, and then we'll be good to go. So here we go. All righty, we're at Las Vegas International Airport. I know it is not called that, but that's what I call it because it's in Las Vegas and it's an international airport. So, we're here to pick up a mystery guest. Can you guess who it is? If you want to play along, you can pause the video and, uh, and take your guess in the comments. And we'll obviously show this rest of this footage later on in the video. So, good luck and have fun. I see him down there. He's on the phone texting. And it's going to take us a minute to walk to him because he's not paying attention. So, we got to go all the way down there. Come on, look right. Look right. The other right. There you go. All right. You made it. Let's do this. The long walk. I bet, right? All right, guys. Let's get back to have a soup. So we can have us some fun. See, we're multitasking here. I'm working on my seat belts on the sand rail. We got it all buttoned up except for the spark plugs. We're still gonna deal with the spark plug leads and the PCV breather. The, I gotta find one. I'm having a tough time coming up with one. Uh, let's check on Wes. See how Wes is doing on the Ford. You got a piece of metal. I do. This is, those were the holes for the six cylinder radiator and the holes for the uh, eight cylinder. They're out here. So I cut them nice. out of the way to get more air in. So that's, that'll be proper, huh? Yeah. Now I just need to find that radiator. Yeah, you know, I've been I've been looking for it. Um, I thought it was out back, but it looks like it's not out back. Oh no, that's a Chrysler radiator. The only other place it could be would be up in the mezzanine. And uh, oh, is that it right there? Yeah, that's it right there. I think. I hope. Uh, probably don't have access up there. It's kind of boxed in. Why don't you grab that ladder? And uh, have you hand that down to me? Oh, hang on. <laughs> Stand by. I needed both hands for that. All right, go ahead and now take this side of it. What does it sit on? I don't know. I think it'll go right to the bottom of the floor, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll, uh, it's gonna take both of us to install this, so we'll put you guys. Okay. Okay, we got our sand paddles on, got our seat belts installed. Got the motor all ready to go. Got our spark plug boots in place. Got our brakes moved. And oh wait, look. Looks like uh, Wes and Merlin have been busy building, building Mer Wes a, a sand rail to bring as well. So we're gonna have some fun. We're getting ready to leave. And next time you guys see us, we'll be in Glamis.
Well, we're, uh, we're at the Flying J or something down here in Ehrenberg, Arizona. What do you think, Wes? I think it looks awesome. You excited? I can't wait. <laughs> Our rolling program of, uh, of stuff. So, uh, we'll see you guys at Glamis. <laughs> the Fab Rats crew just showed up. We got one there, one there, and then we got, well, I don't know, three or three here. Good times. Jesse, I'm standing here with Jesse. This guy sends me something on a comment on one of my videos and says, dude, I'm on my way. I'm leaving today from Iowa, and this is Saturday. So he's been driving for four days to get here to spend time with us. Heck yeah. How was the drive? It was great. Uh, we went through Colorado, and then I went down through Albuquerque. I never imagined how different Arizona would be. I was expecting Forrest Gump, you know, where he stopped running <laughs> yep. just one after another after another, but it was incredible. It's uh, diverse, isn't it? I've seen such such a different scope of landscape every 50 miles. Yep. You like got to see the snow. Awesome. Yep. We got snow in Arizona. You got to see the desert. Yep. So you got to see it all. Uh, we actually came through Havasu. Did you really? We were down there watching oh, that's uh, awesome. watching the guys practice last night on the jet, jet skis. skis. Yeah, 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 yeah. On that Body was, Beach. That was crazy. Isn't that cool? So there was you could definitely tell the difference between like the kids, you know, coming and then the pros that were just flat throttle the whole Smooth, time. Smooth, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they it don't let awesome. up. It was awesome. That's so cool. Right on. So this is crazy. This Isn't is it one amazing. Of the, this is one of the wildest places I've ever seen. Oh yeah, just wait. Tomorrow's like tomorrow's gonna blow, but Friday's gonna be yeah. blow the wind wise. We're right. getting a lot of wind tomorrow, guys. So it's not gonna be a lot of good for footage, but Friday's gonna be epic. The sun will be shining. We'll be out here having a good time. So thanks for coming. Yeah, it's you're awesome. Welcome. Thanks yeah. for watching. Oh yeah, you gotta so real quick. You gotta point to the camera and say thanks for watching. Ready? All right. Thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. <laughs> What's your yeah. name again? Jesse. 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 Well, guys, we're here at. Uh, we're here at Glamis and we got Timmy here. How we doing folks? Gonna have a great day out here in the sand. Good times, huh? Timmy made us up some steaks last night that were pretty bomb. He's called me the camp pit master, that's all we do. <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> got a little windy here yesterday, but uh, today's the big day, the big event. We had a little bit of rain last night. And, uh, we're gonna get some footage. Timmy's gonna do some drone footage here in a little bit. And we'll show you guys what kind of a turnout it's kind of it's kind of a lot of people so we'll see here in a bit we got all kinds of people out here all kinds of rails we got the fab rats crew got some fans that have shown up they're all standing around here talking hanging out what are you doing, Jimmy? showing everybody the whatever you're just walking around with this camera trying to make yourself famous that's it I think we've cleaned out the southwest for sure. Yeah, we're gonna ruin the new buggy market. Yeah, right. <laughs> on Sunday morning on the market club. Right. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, we jack the market up by buying them all. Now we jack it up by selling them. That's right. This is all Paul's crew here. They got like nine or ten of them, or eleven of them. And then we got this old V8 pumper, water pumper. Good times. One of them. One of them framed. It's Trey Wood. Trey, I knew that. That was yep. my first guess. <laughs> all righty. We're here with Trey. He drove all the way out here from Texas. What yep. part of Texas? Colorado City, Texas. Middle of West Texas. And how many sand rails did you did you tear apart to build yours? I bought three and I ended up with one. <laughs> <laughs> That is so cool. It is like a very common thread out here this weekend, but this guy drove from a pretty long way. So we had to give a shout out to everybody in Texas and say, see, somebody came out here to represent. <laughs> so uh, can you do a thing like, thanks for watching? Oh okay, yeah, thanks for watching. All right, man, thanks, man. Right. Thanks, Jimmy. Appreciate you.
35, 36, 7, 8, 9, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, or 70, whatever. So there's at least 90, there's at least 90 vehicles here, guys. We're gonna follow them up at the tail. wipe the smile off your face that thing was running like crazy <laughs> it really was <laughs> <laughs> that turbo once that turbo Woo! check one two <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's no no wonder if you put a quart of oil in it they quit making rattling noises oh yeah yeah, he was court loaded. Oh, that makes sense. That's he was, why he, he was, got towed back. He was ripping pretty hard up. He was ripping pretty hard up the hill several oh, times. He was. He was probably spitting oil out the whole time. Oh my god. So my car looked good, huh? Absolutely. You would get halfway up that hill, and then the next thing you know, shoo, took <laughs> off like a slingshot. <laughs> that was so cool. It was. Oh, it was perfect. Everybody betting it would break, me included. It did not. It survived the day. So two points bonus for that. <laughs> Runs smooth and idles good and it just it's awesome. Those are all plus. Those are all extra bonuses. That's icing on top. I didn't hear any ugly noises out of that thing once. No, me neither. No. That's what was weird. I didn't expect that it, at all. It, it just ran, you know. And you had some trepidation. Oh yeah, no, I didn't know what to expect. Here, well, you dude, were going, mm. Yeah, as tall as it was geared, I was worried. I was like, you know yeah. what? I've been in stuff. I've been in stuff geared that tall, and it's not fun. So it is a first and second gear car, but. It's it's stupid fast in but first and that, second gear. With that torque and Long then the yeah. turbo, oh. yeah, it would just track her up the Mine's hills. Mine's fantastic. Three, so it's yeah, that's right. Just second, yeah. third. But Congratulations. What was your name? You got to say who you are. Which? Todd. Hi, Todd. And you are? Mark. Mark. Okay. We're we're faithful watchers. And I had a Corvair when you were knee high to a grasshopper. When they were new, <laughs> or new used. Uh, no, it was still junk. <laughs> I had a 63 Corvair in 1974. So you probably found it in the junkyard. It was it was a $300 car. That's awesome. <laughs> That's back when 300 bucks was a lot of money though. Yeah. My dad helped me put a new convertible top on it. Oh really? Oh that's awesome. It was great. Right on. Very cool. Okay, so stick your finger out and say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. All right. Thanks for watching. You heard it here. How's it going, Jimmy? I'm Travis, Brenda Garvey Iron Company. Right on. This Travis guy, we're sitting there talking about the rail, and he's got a camera too. We're doing the same thing That's right. right here. What's up, man? <laughs> so, was Glamis everything you hoped for? Well, yeah, I've been here it before. It was perfect. It was, I love it. it was unbelievable. Yeah, it was a great weekend. It was. How how did you have a good time? It was great. Everything worked good. I only got a flat tire out of the whole weekend. That's awesome. Nothing other bad broke. So That's cool. We made a good weekend out of it. That's awesome. Your car do good? My car. <laughs>
this? Hi, I'm Robbie James. Hi, Robbie. Pleasure to meet you. Very Watch nice your meet channel you. all the time. Love it. We love, love to hear it. that. Yeah. That's awesome. Awesome. Good thanks, entertainment. Thanks for riding. I go, I go, what is that? He goes, oh, it's a jet ski. I'm like, what? What the heck's a jet ski? Jet ski. <laughs> so they took off. Then we went back down the gate and rode some of the 400s, early 400s. Wow. But they took like, they took seven 400s and rode from Long Beach to San Diego back in the 70s, but 74, Studs. 75, no, and they're Studs. pulling up on the beach right? to get yep. gas, yep. Yep. and nobody's yep. like, people are like, what the fuck is that? What they're is coming that? out of the ocean, like, right? Like, what's a monster coming out? Navy SEALs, Yeah, and right? then they get back on the, oh, but yeah. That's just, so cool. They had such a, some good stories with that those That is guys. awesome. So, so did yeah. you like the Blythe River? I love the Blythe River. It's amazing. Like, yeah. I told him, I said, I would definitely be back down here. Good. One of these days, I'm gonna ride from, uh, from Parker all the way to the Arizona border. New Mexico border. Well, the sad thing is the Indians got in there because I had some friends that grew up in um, Blue Marine. Uh, what's that? The, the marina right next to the train bridge. No. Oh. Blue yeah. Water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Okay. And I used to go there back in the 60s and 70s. They were they were pro water skier guys. Okay. Right. And then. Yeah. So, so we got to start over. I'm going to walk up and introduce myself. Or you're going to introduce yourself, okay? Like we did when we very first started talking. So we can put that in the beginning of all this. So I want to use it. <laughs> and then. Hey, yeah. Hey, out of all that video, I think you got about probably a minute of shit you can Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's all, it's all good content. All good content. Who, who is watching? Then you got to say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Oh, you got to do your. Hey, thanks for watching. <laughs> okay, you two together. All right, I gotta Let's get. See. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, right there. So awesome. They're keepers. We'll that, see. We'll that, see. That's gonna be on there for sure. We'll see. Yeah, that's that's Perfect, ladies. We'll, we'll bring our old, that was amazing. We'll bring our old skis up and go with them to. Oh, absolutely, is out there. absolutely. The, uh, oh, the sandbar run. No, the sandbar run. Yeah. You gotta come up on Wednesday. Wednesdays. You gotta come up on Wednesday and do a sandbar run. That is hard for me to get there on a Wednesday. I get up at four to go to work, get home at six. I'll never make it. I know. I'm the same way. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, but the sandbar runs. What those we'll do a sandbar run yeah, on a Saturday morning or Sunday morning or something. Actually, Sunday mornings people launch from somewhere and go south the part the Parker Dam. That, uh, yeah. that, that, that's, that's a good a, run. Yeah, it is that's a good long. Run. That's yeah. all the way down the end of the lake. Oh no, I think they they start at like Cattail Cove or something. They don't, oh, okay, so that okay. yeah, that'd be easier for you guys too. They start at Cattail Cove, go down to the, the springs.
We made it back. I'm a little sunburnt. The car made it back. Wes made it back one piece. No broken bones. What'd you think, Wes? That was amazing. Uh, we went there for Merlin's birthday. We had a blast. Everybody there had a blast. And Merlin sure knows how to throw a birthday. He sure does. There's a lot of people, a lot of amazing people. We got to spend time, hang out, and, and really get to know some of our fans. And it was a really epic time. So whenever we decide to do something like this again, we'll all be there. So in the meantime, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.